Welcome to the magical world of science. Today we're going to explore how we can care for our environment. I'm Miss Ray and I'm thrilled to be joined by a very curious scientist in the making, Kyra. Hi Miss Ray, I'm excited to learn about the environment. Great, let's start with a question. Have you ever seen litter where you live? Yes, I have. Sometimes I see plastic bottles and wrappers on the ground. That's a good observation. Now, why do you think litter is bad for animals and plants? Hmm, maybe because animals could eat it and get sick. Exactly. Litter can harm animals if they eat it or get tangled in it. It can also make it hard for plants to grow. Oh no, that's not good. What can we do to help? We can start by picking up litter and recycling materials like plastic and paper. Do you know what recycling means? I think it's when we use old things to make new things. That's right. Recycling helps reduce waste and protect our environment. Now let's think like scientists. Can you predict if a place with lots of plants and no litter is a good habitat for animals? Yes. I think it would be a good place for animals to live. You're spot on. A clean environment with plenty of plants is a great habitat for animals. Now, let's imagine we're creating a nature reserve. What would you include to make it a good home for animals and plants? I would plant lots of trees and flowers and make sure there's no litter. That's a wonderful idea. Trees and flowers provide food and shelter for many creatures. Now let's talk about a project. How about making a small book about your school's outdoor environment? That sounds fun. I can take pictures and write about the plants and animals I see. Perfect. You can also think of ways to improve the habitats, like adding an insect hotel or planting more flowers. I like that. I want to help make the environment better for everyone. And you can. By observing, predicting, and taking action, you're already thinking like a scientist. Now, can you summarize what we've learned today? We learned that litter is bad for animals and plants, and we can help by recycling and keeping our environment clean. Exactly. Thank you for joining the magical world of science. Keep being curious, and remember, there's always more to discover in science.